Hi, my name is Dr. George Shashua. I'm a urogynecologist and board certified in female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery. We'll be looking at a video today that looks at the pelvic anatomy as it relates to the vaginal rejuvenation procedure. This is an illustration of normal pelvic anatomy. The opening to the vagina is normal and the vaginal caliber is normal. Here's another look at the normal pelvic anatomy in the circle that's outlined, the backside of the vagina the, or the posterior vagina is in the top part of the circle and the perineum is in the bottom part of the circle. Two things to notice in this image. One is that the backside of the vagina is dropping and loose. And the second is that the perineum is relaxed, creating an increased opening into the vagina. This outlines the area that is treated during vaginal rejuvenation. The posterior vagina or backside of the vagina seen in the top half of the circle is tightened and elevated. The perineum or bottom half of the circle is tightened by bringing together the muscle at the perineum. This restores the normal caliber of the opening to the vagina and to the vagina itself, which restores sensation during sex. This depicts the vagina following rejuvenation. As you can see, the caliber is narrowed and the vagina is no longer overly relaxed. To summarize, the goal of vaginal rejuvenation surgery is to restore the length of the vagina and the caliber of the vagina in patients presenting with symptoms of vaginal looseness. The procedure takes a couple hours. Patients miss a week or two of work and full recovery is after around six weeks.